Okay, so one of the questions we get is, what does a commercial real estate attorney do? And that's a very broad question. Of course, commercial real estate attorneys are, are involved both in representing buyers, they're involved in representing sellers, and they're also involved in representing the bank who's lending the money to a, uh, to a transaction. And so, really, it's three questions. So let's start off with what a, a, a bank lawyer is going to do when they're lending money on the acquisition of, of commercial real estate. And the answer is really simple. They're going to make sure that the bank is getting good collateral, that the documents are executed properly, that they're getting a title opinion, uh, excuse me, a legal opinion uh, from usually uh, the buyer's counsel confirming that uh, the representations that the buyer made are, are true and correct. And more importantly, they're going to make sure that the zoning's okay, there's no environmental problems, that the leases are all in place, uh, and that uh, there are no other outstanding uh, potential issues that, that you could have, such as like lead paint or, or asbestos, which are all part of the environmental uh, area. But also that, that the place is zoned properly, that the people can, can uh, occupy the property and, and can run their businesses appropriately, so that there'll be enough cash flow to pay for the mortgage. So that's typically what a bank lawyer does. And then, of course, they negotiate the mortgage documents. And of course, they review the title insurance, and they review the closing statement, and uh, they're they're basically protecting the bank's interest. So now let's talk about what the buyers' lawyers do because they do something similar. They want to make sure that uh, all the issues that the bank's concerned about are resolved, and of course, they want to resolve it not just for the bank but also for themselves. So they want to make sure that there's no zoning problems, that there's no land use issues, that there's no environmental issues, and of course, then they're going to negotiate the loan uh, for the buyer with the mortgage company uh, or the bank, and so going to be some, some negotiations there over lots of terms and conditions and, and over covenants and, 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 and various representations and so the buyer's attorney is going to do that and of course the buyer's attorney is also going to make sure that the title is clear and going to review the title insurance policy and make sure or the title commitment and then they're also going to make sure that there are title issues that they, those issues get cleared before closing and of course the buyer's attorney is also going to negotiate the contract with the seller uh, to make sure that they're getting a fair deal and that everyone knows who's on first and who's paying for what and, and, and that uh, that deal is, is going to fly, and they're of course going to make sure that if there are any tenants, that the tenants have, have confirmed that their rent is not in default, and that the lease is not in default, and that the landlord's not in default. Those are called estoppel letters that typically get issued to tenants. And uh, so that's what the, the buyer's attorney is going to do. So now finally, what does the seller's attorney do? And the seller's attorney is going to do everything that the buyer and the bank is asking the seller to do in order to get the deal done. If there's a title issue, the seller's going to have to help clear the title problem. They're going to have to help get all the, the tenants to uh, sign uh, the, uh, the estoppel letters and make sure that uh, the tenants are happy, because if they're not happy, then, then the buyer's not going to be happy and the bank's not going to be happy. And of course, the seller's going to, uh, seller's going to negotiate the contract between the buyer and the seller as it relates to uh, the actual purchase of, of the real estate. And uh, I think that's it for now.